Newcastle United 4, West Ham United 3. There's never in doubt, never in doubt. What did you want to say? You wanted to say something, didn't you? I was just going to say the little fan that said uh, Prague that way the other day or a few months ago for the West Ham. West Ham's that way, mate. West Ham's that way. West Ham get battered everywhere they go. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. What, a, what an amazing turnaround. It's absolutely ridiculous. At 3 1 down, uh, I mean, let's start in order because there's so much to go through and we've only got a short amount of time to do it. But what, obviously, we made a fantastic start. We get the penalty, Isaac buries it. We thought life was great and it was easy, but after that, kind of like last season, just completely went off the boil and allowed them back in. Um, there was everything in today's game in the Premier League. Refereeing incompetence, of course, which was the biggest disgrace in, oh my word. That makes the Burton penalty incident all them years ago seem minor. Um, the, I thing, the thing I is, so Sam, it, you're right, you had a little bit of everything. You know, Newcastle went one 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 up for Alexander Isak after Gordon was not, uh, was brought down, one 0 up, and you're thinking, right, Newcastle, let's just show a little bit of something that we haven't done and actually defend. It didn't take long because of Jamal Lascelles, which we'll touch more in the last word. But those three goals, I know the second goal is debatable for so many different reasons, but those three goals were absolutely appalling to give away. Yeah, they were minging. Uh, second goal was a disgrace, and the referee will be in the football in the EFL next week. That, that's just uh, you stop right there. Kevin Trippier is just there. Keeping trip, yeah. Keep on, there he is, there's trips. Yeah. Walking just there, just walking out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, should try and get one. Oh, no, he's going there. Yeah, we'll leave him with these kids. Um, yeah, the, the goals we can see are Mingan. Um, the Lascelles' injury disrupted everything because everyone in the stadium, and this was a, a mistake that Howe did rectify in the end, but it slowed. Emil Kraft sh should not have been the substitution. It should have been Lewis Hall. It disrupted the whole balance of the team. Well, not, it, sh it shouldn't have done. Murphy was way too narrow. That right-hand side in the back line was a disgrace to Premier League football, especially Murphy and Kraft linking up. It was pathetic. But the thing is, Lucas McKay was getting joy. Kudos, what a player here for West Ham United, by the way. He shouldn't have been on a losing, losing team today. However, Newcastle just never gave up. They never gave in. And there was a lot of questions that had to be asked. And it was a big, big 30, 35 minutes. And by God, with the substitutions that Eddie Howe made, massive difference. Elliot Anderson, Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall, what? A, why is he not playing? And, well, and, and then Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes. Yeah, well, let, let's do And don't leave Elliot Anderson out as well. He I was, said Anderson. Oh, okay. So, sorry, you talk a lot. Um, <laughs> You're <laughs> but too no, kind. But, 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 but before all that, going in at 2-1 down at half time, which was a disgrace, we tried to make the early running in the second half got caught on the counter, made it 3-1. We were sat there, the stadium was a cemetery. Um, and you do, your mind wanders and you question, how can we carry on defending like this and playing like this? And how's made the wrong decisions there? But the three sub uh, the substitutes he made, obviously Almiron's gone off injured. I mean, there was even a red card in the game. I mean, <laughs> you can forget about that now, I don't know, you? but yeah, Hall, tremendous. He should be starting. Otherwise, like you, when Kraft was playing bad, we, I said to you, well, why isn't Hall, why, it should have been Hall. And then you said, well, he doesn't trust him. Well, don't fucking sign him then. He's come on and he's done an absolutely superb job. Elliot Anderson has too. Wow. And just Harvey Barnes, what can you say? He's so intelligent. I maintain, hello, Andy. I maintain he's not a fast winger, which is what I said all along. But like Nobby Solano told us on the Greenwood and Mulliner Show podcast, your first two, st your first two yards are in your head, are in your brain. And he's got a fantastic footballing brain. The run he made for the equaliser, the finish for the winning goal, absolutely, oh, just incredible. Look at Andy at 3-1 up. West Ham was singing, ole, ole. They were taking the mickey, weren't they? They were taking the mickey. However... At the end, Harvey Barnes made the difference and Sam's touched about the third goal, but the fourth goal, I was going to say right at the end, but it wasn't right at the end, it was about 10, 15 minutes pretty much because of all the injury time. What a finish, what a screamer. You know, these are the moments, come on! <laughs> these are the moments that you look back and go, on, do you know what, that could get that player going. And he's, he's, he hasn't played a lot, but he's scored goals, but what a finish. We've been begging for that, haven't we? Someone that's able to come inside and put the ball away like that, we've been missing that. For how many months? I mean, if 3 1 down, I, I was down and out. Um, but Harvey Barnes came on, changed the game. Lewis Hall as well, fantastic. Why is he, where's he been? Where, like, 
But Harvey Barnes is a good finisher of the ball and he's, he's, he's showed that there. Um, apologies for my voice, I think it's in Hexham. Uh, I'll pick that up on the way home. But uh, no, what an incredible game. And this bloody club, man. The things it does to you. Football, eh? Football. Still shaking. Still shaking. <laughs> Stand up if you won 4-3, that's for the West Ham fans there. Uh, hope you enjoy your trip back down south. Um, <laughs> maybe not that, maybe not that word. It's finished, Newcastle United 4, West Ham United 3. That is the match you actually got the last word with all of us. Leads behind the camera, we'll get his views later on. Like and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV, we'll see you all very soon.